Today on Ortho 2, I'm going to be starting a new series. This series will be called Amazing Animal, and I'm sure you can see the resemblance to my Ancient Animal series. The first episode will be about the sperm whale. Sperm whales are the largest of the toothed whales and the world's largest tooth predator. Sperm whales belong in the same order as all cetaceans and even toed ungulates. It is a member of the clade Cetacea with all whales and further classified into Odontocetae. It belongs to the family Physeteridae, and two other species belong in this family as well. Mature males average 16 meters or 52 feet in length, but can attain 20 meters or 68 feet. The head of the animal is one third of its total length. They can weigh anywhere from 70,000 to 130,000 pounds or 32,000 to 59,000 kilograms. By contrast, the second largest tooth whale, the Baird's Beaked Whale, measures 12 meters and 42 feet long and weighs up to 30,000 pounds. The sperm whale is one of the most sexually dimorphic of all the cetaceans. At birth, both sexes are about the same size. Mature males grow to about 30 to 50% longer and three times the weight as females. There are old reports of sperm whales approaching or exceeding lengths of 80 feet or 24 meters. These reports are often exaggerations or incorrect measurements. The whale that sank the Essex was claimed to be 26 meters or 85 feet. This is one of the incidents that inspired the book Moby Dick. In the novel Moby Dick, Captain Ahab is a captain of a sperm whaling ship. In a previous encounter, he had his leg bitten off by a white whale named Moby Dick. He then obsessively seeks revenge. Nantucket Whaling Museum has an 18-foot long jawbone which the museum claims belonged to an 80-foot individual. Extensive whaling may have decreased the size of the species. Males were highly sought after, and today males do not usually exceed 60 feet or 51 tons. Other studies have concluded that whaling did not actually affect the size of males. The largest animal weighed in whole was 18 meters or 59 feet and 53 tons. The largest weighed in piecemeal was 59 feet and 57 tons. An individual weighing 20.7 meters or 68 feet was weighed by a Soviet whaling fleet and is estimated to have been 80 tons. The International Whaling Commission found that the largest confirmed whale was listed in 1933 at 24 meters or 79 feet. They noted through all of their measurements of these animals that the sizes are very rare and 95% of whales are below 15 meters or 49 feet. Reportedly, old males taken from the Solander Islands were recorded to be some of the largest. The skeleton of a sperm whale looks quite odd. I assume most of you would not be able to guess what animal this was if asked. An interesting adaptation to survive crushing pressures of the ocean is their flexible rib cage. The ribs are bound to its spine by flexible cartilage which allows the rib cage to collapse rather than snap under high pressure. Sperm whales are well adapted to the deep oceans, but bones show the same pitting that signals decompression sickness in humans. Over a lifetime of deep diving, pitting forms on the bones. Older animals show the highest damage, while juveniles show none. Sudden surfacing could be lethal to these animals. Like other toothed whales, the skull of the sperm whale is asymmetrical. This aids in echolocation and allows for directional hearing. Sperm whale jaws are nothing to be messed with. They are narrow and underslung. It has 18 to 26 teeth on each side which fit into sockets in the upper jaw. There are no teeth in the upper jaw that are able to be seen in life, but they are present and have no function. These teeth are cone-shaped and weigh about 2.2 pounds each. The teeth are functional and could certainly be deadly for animals, but they do not appear to be necessary for capturing or eating squid. This can be seen when individuals with no teeth or even deformed jaws are well fed. One hypothesis is that the teeth are used in aggression between males. This can be seen from scars all over their bodies. Sperm whales have very large brains. In fact, sperm whales have the largest brain of any modern or extinct animal weighing on average about 17 pounds and the heaviest known was 20 pounds. That's more than five times heavier than a human and about five times the volume of a human brain. Larger brains do mean more intelligence, but it is not the only factor. Elephants and dolphins have bigger brains than humans, but they are not smarter. 
The sperm whale has a lower encephalization quotient than many other whale and dolphin species. This is also lower than any ape species and much lower than humans. Now let's talk about the extremely interesting spermaceti organ. On top of the whale's skull there is an array of complex organs filled with a liquid mixture of fats and waxes called spermaceti. The purpose of this organ is to produce power and focused clicking sounds which are used for echolocation and communication. The spermaceti is like a barrel of liquid. It is surrounded by the case which is an extremely tough and fibrous material. The case can hold up to 1900 liters of spermaceti and is larger in males. This oil is a mixture of triglycerides and wax esters. As the whale ages, it becomes more waxy from as low as 38% at birth as to as high as 94% as an adult. The speed of sound in this liquid is 2684 meters per second, making it nearly twice as fast as the making it nearly twice as fast as the oil in a dolphin's melon. Below the spermaceti organ lies the junk, which consists of spermaceti separated by cartilage. The purpose of the structure may redistribute physical stress across the skull. This may protect their head during ramming. A famous case of ramming occurred in the well-documented sinking of the Essex and Am Alexander. In both of these cases, the attackers weighed about one-fifth as much as the ships but were able to sink them. Running through the head are two air passages. The left passage runs alongside the spermaceti and goes directly into the blowhole. The right passage runs underneath the spermaceti and passes through a pair of phonic lips and into the distal sac. This allows the whale to close its blowhole when diving and circulate air back to the lungs. The spermaceti organs may also help adjust the whale's buoyancy. It is thought that before the whale dives, cold water enters the organ and the spermaceti solidifies to reduce its volume. This allows them to dive much easier. During the hunt, oxygen consummation and blood vessel dilation produces heat and melts the spermaceti. This increases its buoyancy and allows for easy surfacing. The sperm whale has relatively good eyesight. It is speculated that the eyes are used to detect either silhouettes of squid or their bioluminescence. To aid in locating prey, echolocation is used. The whale emits a directional focus beam of broadband clicks. The sound reflects back to the spermaceti organ and the information is used to locate prey. These sounds are the most powerful in the animal kingdom and may stun prey. Sperm whales usually dive between 300 to 800 meters or 980 to 2600 feet. Sometimes they'll even dive between 1 to 2 kilometers or 3300 or 6600 feet. Such dives can last more than an hour. They feed on several species, notably the giant squid, but also colossal squid, octopuses, and some fish. Their diet mainly consists of medium-sized squid. Battles between sperm whales and giant squid or colossal squid have never been observed by humans. However, white scars are believed to be caused by the large squid. Some studies have shown that sperm whales hunt upside down at the bottom of their deep dives. It is suggested that the whales can see squid silhouetted above them against the dim surface. Sperm whales also eat fish, but hardly any. They have been observed feeding on sablefish and toothfish from long lines. Long line fishing operations in the Gulf of Alaska complain that sperm whales take advantage of their fishing operations to eat desirable species straight off the line. This makes it so the sperm whales do not even need to hunt, they just follow these boats around. Sperm whales are believed to prey on megamouth shark, a rare, large deep sea species. In one case, three sperm whales were observed attacking or playing with a megamouth. Squids are mostly soft animals except for their beaks. The sharp beak of squid are consumed and lodged in the whale's intestines. Once there, this may lead to the production of ambergris. This may protect their stomach from damage. Sperm whales eat up to 3% of their body weight per day, and an annual consumption prey by sperm whales worldwide is about 91 million tons. 
In comparison, human consumption of seafood is estimated to be around 115 million tons. Sperm whales spend most of their time in the open ocean and have a worldwide range. They migrate seasonally for feeding and breeding. They are important to the ecosystem because they will eat food from the deep ocean and bring it to the surface when they defecate. Females and young males live together in groups while males live alone. Adult females protect and nurse their young. They give birth every 4 to 20 years and care for each calf for over a decade. Sperm whales become sexually mature at the age of 7 to 13 and physically mature at the age of 25 to 45. The oldest sperm whales can live 60 to 70 years of age. They have few natural predators. Only orcas, pilot whales, and false killer whales can kill them. They typically only target weakened or young individuals. Sperm whales are one of the most unique animals alive today. In so many ways they are special. They have the largest brain on earth and they are the biggest carnivore on earth. And just look at how strange they are in terms of form, like look at their spermaceti organ. Before the video ends I want to spend some time talking about the other animals related to sperm whales. It is likely you have never heard of the dwarf sperm whale or the pygmy sperm whale. They are much smaller than their giant relative. The pygmy sperm whale is about 10 feet long and 880 pounds. They feed mainly on cephalopods but live in relatively shallow waters. The dwarf sperm whale is slightly smaller and its diet also consists of mainly cephalopods. Due to their small size, they are often eaten by marine predators like great white sharks. Both of these animals are relatively unknown among the common man and I just wanted to mention their existence. Thanks for watching and I hope you liked the video. Shortly after the release of this video I plan to make a video about the wreck of the Essex. The Essex was a whaling ship that sunk by a large sperm whale and was one of the main inspirations for the book Moby Dick. I will be talking about the story of the captain and the survival story he went through. Not only did a sperm whale sink his ship, but he also had to eat some of his friends when he was stranded at sea for over three months. It is sure to be a very interesting video. So make sure you like and subscribe. Comment down below what video you'd want to see next. This has been your host, North02, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.